Hello everybody again. Now we continue the science, uh, the topic related, related with the science. Today we are going to talk about special regulation science. First one here is um, motorway and end of the motorway. And future we'll talk about this uh, closer. So all the um, area science, for example, tunnel, tunnel, motorway, uh, calm traffic area, build up area, they have own rules, of course. And um, if you see that you enter some area, for example, motorway, it means that some rules are applied in this area. But we, will go, go, we are going to observe this in future, in the next uh, theory lessons. So here you see you enter the motorway, then enter of the motorway, one-way road started, one-way road ended. So one-way road, for example, can be uh, finished only um, if you see an, the sign of uh, one-way road, the end of the one-way road. It cannot be um, finished by, uh, it cannot be finished by um, crossroad, for example, or intersection. Also, it's a very, uh, very important to notice here that some people uh, get confused with this sign. And um, why they get confused? Because they think this uh, one-way sign, one-way road sign means uh, mandatory way straight. So please uh, notice that that mandatory signs, they have to be like circled. This one is square. So uh, in this case, it's not mandatory, it's one way. We also have a video about, about one-way roads in our YouTube channel, so you can check it and you will understand more clearly how to move on the one-way roads. And the same entrance to the one-way road, one-way road ahead, uh, and means uh, this sign is usually located uh, before you, you know, for example, turn left or right. You will see that there is one-way road that you want to enter. For example, here you can see, uh, here you can see one-way road goes straight. So if you drive there, you will see one-way road. Okay, you now understand that one-way road goes in this direction and you have two lanes and you can use both of them. Of course, some students make a mistake. They drive in the middle of the road like this. It's a mistake. You can drive only, you can drive only on the right lane or on the left, you cannot drive in the middle. If you drive in the middle, then other cars cannot overtake you even. You block the road, basically. And here you see the car down here. Uh, this car is approaching the crossroad. Uh, I see that one way goes right. So I already informed if I turn right, this road will be one way. Again, this sign doesn't mean it's mandatory uh, way only right. It's not mandatory. You can go also straight. The only way you cannot go is left. And here one way road finished. So I can go straight in this direction. I can use right lane, uh, sorry, left lane and right lane if I want to go. And also uh, traffic, uh, traffic law allows uh, to make a U-turn in this case. It's also allowed. And of course I cannot go left. So let's observe some places. For example, here, one way road goes right. So in this case, if there is no entry sign, I also can, if there is no entry sign, I can also go straight, but you see no entry on straight. No entry left. It's very also popular place on the exam. Hugh Crossroad. Hugh, you can see the street name. So um, means I can go only now right, and if I enter right, it will be one way road. It's the only direction. So I enter it, and here I see also once again one way road. So I can use both lanes for moving straight. Then I see one way finished. Here, one way finished. So exactly here, this one way is finished. It means if I go on the left lane straight, I will fail my exam. 
because here it's already after that place it's already two-way road so that's why if I'm on the left I have to change it before the sign and then I can continue straight if examiner will ask you uh, before that uh, let's go left on the crossword for example yeah if um, if you are here he will tell you let's go left on the crossroad means you have to change the lane still because it's uh, one way is still valid here you take the left lane and from the left lane from this lane you have to turn left and here you don't see any signs only uh, that tracks are not allowed to move here uh, but you don't see any one-way signs one-way road signs so it means you can enter uh, only right lane because this road is two-way already it's not one way so that's why you have to take most possibly the right lane so and then we continue moving and the same situation here uh, examiner asks you to turn left on this crossroad for example as you see already in advance you can check one way road ahead if you turn left it's one way road so we turn left we know that it's one way also pedestrian crossing be careful here and then examiner asks you to turn left somewhere here it's still one way yeah crossroad the crossroad does not uh, finish or cancel uh, the one way road and he asks you for example at first possibility let's turn left the same you have to take the left lane before that and then you can go left here for example on this crossroad so basically if it's a one-way road before you turn left or right doesn't matter before you turn left you take maximum left position before you turn right you take maximum right position you cannot turn right from the right lane to the left on the crossroad it's not allowed you have to be on the left lane let's check one more link and here is the same we enter one way road if you want to go right you can uh, uh, you know that it's one way you also can go straight because this is uh, as you already know it's not mandatory way so you can go straight uh, you can go right if you go right it means you have a one-way road and you can make a u-turn so if it's possible to make a u-turn for example you drive small scooter it's still real to make a u-turn here why not but of course you have to give away it's important then here also small example I can go right if I go right I have one way if I go left I also have uh, here if I go left here I also have one way road so and this this lane is one way as well you also have you can see this sign let's check the link for example one more place with the dividing strip you see uh, on the picture it was dividing strip in the middle so here we also have this dividing strip so one way goes this direction i have giveaway sign i give away but still if i want to go left on this big crossroad i have to go straight there here i can stop and then i can turn left this direction so um yeah so i have to be located here the same i see one way goes left so if there is no possibility to go straight means i can go only left and i know i have a one way there so this road is one way this one way and two big different traffics basically we have here Uh, sometimes if I don't know um, uh, where I am located on the one-way road or not so it means I need to, to know it somehow to check it it's really possible to check it for example I drive here 
on this road. And I don't know, uh, is it one way or not? I see the crossroad. On the crossroad, I can check the signs that other road users have on the left and on the right. So this shape of signs means that this one is giveaway sign, this one is one way. So one way goes in this direction. And here also one way goes in this direction. So how do I know that this one way goes in this way, uh, for example, yeah? As you see on the picture, it's on the right. How do I know that it's not left, for example? It's very simple, if you turn left, on the one-way road. It means you will enter oncoming traffic. And of course, on the exam, he will not allow you to, examiner will not allow you to enter the oncoming traffic. So it's very simple. Basically, you will fail immediately after that. So um, and that's why if I'm moving and my examiner still didn't stop me, it means that I'm going in the right direction. And if I see this kind of shape in the beginning, on the left and on the right, means one way goes in this direction that I go as well. So I have one way road. It means, um, for example, he asked me to turn left on the first possibility. And in some case, I missed this first possibility. First possibility was here, for example, yeah? So I have to turn left here. So try not to make a mistake in this situation. Um, if you see that it's one way, you see that it's not possible to turn from the right here because you are on the one way then just skip this crossroad and try to turn left on the next crossroad and you will do it the second possibility. It's still not mistake because you're not breaking any rules. You just pass the crossroad, take the left lane and then turn left. So very simple. If you, you can skip the commands, you can skip the directions, but if you are not breaking the rules, it's still exam, examiner has to continue with you this exam. He only can fail you if you make some rude mistake uh, related with the traffic law, of course. Yeah, so this is the shape, how they look. For example, like here, we can check on the Google Maps as well. The same crossroad we just observed. So you see, I move. On the right side, I see the one-way road most possibly it's one-way road, goes right, and uh, giveaway sign here as well. I see the same. So I can slow down, check it a little bit, then I understand that I'm on the one way and continue straight. Like this. Now, uh, we can see as uh, bus lane signs. Lane reserved for public transport vehicle, vehicles, bus lane. So it also can be uh, reserved for the bicycle, so bicycles as well can use it, for example. Uh, here you also see the old example of this sign. It's uh, now in, in Tallinn, it's still uh, very popular, so you can see it uh, mostly everywhere. So new roads already have a new bus lane signs, but still old roads, they have this old one. So it still means that it's a bus lane. Uh, then, end of, end of the bus lane, a uh, road with a lane reserved for public transport vehicles, contraflow bus lane. So it means that one lane, um, uh, one lane, for example, for example, coming lane is for the bus, and other lane, the right one, is for the casual uh, road users. And end of road, uh, of road with the lane reserved for public transport. Yeah, here has to be, yeah, uh, 526 has to be replaced with uh, 527. Like, um, of course, 527 is um, end of the lane, bus lane and bicycle lane. And the other one, the last one is for um, contraflow bus lane, basically. And the, these bus lane signs, they are usually uh, valid only until the next crossroad. So after the crossroad, bus lane can be cancelled, basically. Like here. 
bus lane here. Uh, we have after the crossroad. Uh, after the crossroad. After the crossroad, we don't see any signs. Means after the crossroad, it's casual lane, not for the bus. So now you can go on the right lane as well if you're not a bus driver also but of course if you are want to use it uh, you can use the bus lane only for the right or left turn in the last possible moment for example here if you want to turn right for example let's say uh, you have to take maximum right lane and then can go right We'll talk about this also more closely in future, but now we are just observing the signs. Here, for example, combinated roads. Combinated roads for bicycles and for uh, bus buses as well. So casual cars cannot use it, only buses and bicycles. Uh, this kind of options we also have, like I already told, contra flow traffic, like uh, right lane is for the casual cars and I'm coming off only for the buses and bicycles. End of these lanes, informing you that you are uh, entering the road with this kind of conditions and rules. So bus lane goes left and right lane goes for the casual cars. Here is the example. So car on the car here cannot go right because it's bus lane as you see on the sign, this one, the right one. And left, you can go uh, also only using these two lanes because this one also for the bus as well. You can see uh, you can see the name A like autobus, autobus or something like this. So it's also for buses. The same, you can turn left or move straight, but you cannot make U-turn because you know it's a bus lane. How do you know that? You have a sign here. Oncoming lane is the bus one the bus lane and this lane is only for the casual cars let's see the example like this we have a sign so you can see that lane over there is for the buses and right lane is for casual cars we can check it more closer yeah so this two lanes for the car also here we have a bus lane sign as you see means this one also for the buses so casual car cannot use it actually so here is for the bus here is for casual car b category and this one oncoming lane is also for the buses as we know according to this sign here yeah oncoming lane for the buses so i hope it's clear here So let's talk more about the special regulation signs. Um, as you see, most of them uh, um, are blue or white. So if they are blue, it means you are outside of the build-up area. In this case, it's very uh, helpful because then you can understand that your speed limit can be maximum 90, not 50. If you are in the city, it means usually your uh, speed limit is 50, not, uh, not uh, more than this. It can be uh, changed only by the sign like this. So it means on the left lane you can go 70. On the right lane, as you as in the city, maximum allowed speed is 50. Here also no other limitations means on all the lanes you can go 90. And uh, the black ones, these ones, these signs, it means it's uh, the electronic sign, like this. So it's 50, for example, here. It also can be directed by lines. 
Here also we have different options, for example, entering the, um, entering the highway, so we have um, acceleration lane. Uh, here you have your own lane for acceleration. Uh, left turn, here also left turn, oncoming traffic, left lane, middle lane for the tracks. Sorry, middle lane, middle lane is um, not for the tracks, so tracks cannot use it only B category, for example, and A. So right lane can use everybody. Pass lanes also, different options. This is the old one, this is the new one. The new sign, I mean. So what's, uh, what is very important about this um, special uh, regulation sign, special regulation, uh, regulation sign, if it's uh, located exactly before the crossroad, like here. So it means car A and B, it's, uh, for them it's mandatory to go straight only, as you see on the sign, special regulation sign. So A and B, uh, both these cars can go straight on this crossroad. If it's located exactly before the crossroad, if it's uh, located after the crossroad, it means uh, it's just uh, giving you the information of how many lanes you have, which direction you have, and so on and so on. So, um, after the crossroad, if it's located, you can turn right as well, you can go straight as well, left, so it's not, it's not mandatory. If it's before the crossroad, then it's mandatory to go only in the direction that showed, is shown on the um, on the sign. Let's check the uh, let's check the links. Let's check the links. For example, this sign is located before the crossroad. It's a, if examiner tells you to turn uh, to move straight, as you see on the sign, you have to take the left lane. You have to take the left lane. It's mandatory. If you go from the right lane straight, exam is finished instantly for you. As you see, for example, this car is moving straight from the light, right lane. So this car is making a mistake, huge mistake. Usually students, unfortunately, follow these mistakes, follow other cars. And then, um, unfortunately, they follow it and then make this huge rude mistake. And after that, exam is finished also for you. So try to think with your, uh, with your own head because um, uh, if you don't, you just follow the others, you can fail the exam. Because not, only, not all the cars and drivers follow the rules, unfortunately, in Thailand also. Here, also very popular place on the um, on the um, exam roads. The same situation. If you want to go straight, you can see sign. You have to take the left lane if you want to go straight. Right lane goes only right. Yeah, so that's why you have to take the left lane in advance. Go straight. You can also see that it's a little bit um, curvy. Why? Because. Um, as you see, one way, it was a one way here, one way finished, after that means it will be two way. So that's why when you enter this road, you, uh, from the left lane, you are going to move like this to the right one, because this road is two way. You, of course, you cannot enter the left lane, it's oncoming already. And let's check the, um, let's check the other link, the last one. Also, uh, it's located before the crossroad, exactly, like this. Means you can go only straight, from the right lane only right. So if you want to turn left here, it's a mistake, you cannot make a turn left. Because sign shows you, it's only way straight. Because it's located before the crossroad. Then, uh, we also have uh, for example, uh, another lane is approaching. 
here. So from one lane, it's going to be two different lanes. It's combination also here. You can see that 30 on the left lane 30 is the minimum speed limit. As you already know, it's uh, it's a city. Uh, sorry, it's a city. This one is a highway. You are out of this, uh, out of the built-up area. So maximum speed allowed here is 90. Here maximum is 50. If there is no other uh, speed limits, of course. Here one lane goes to three different lanes: left, straight, uh, middle, and right. Lanes are the and directions of traffic. End of line. Uh, so end of uh, end of the lane basically means uh, if you are driving on the right lane it soon will be ended that's why i have to change the lane out of the city in the city if you see yellow signs it means uh, it's a temporary sign for example because of the construction work you can see this kind of example uh, in the in our video in YouTube also uh, when we do the Lagri exam road. So we can check it over there. And let's check the link also. End of the lane, you see? And the sign is located uh, here. And after that you have only, for example, 10 meters to change. So that's why I have to, uh, to visualize the sign very, very in advance. So if you see it in advance, uh, you better change the lane, of course, uh, earlier, not in the last moment, because usually students, unfortunately, unfortunately, change it like after the sign, somewhere here, when a lot of cars are moving on the left, so they uh, are obliged basically to stop even. They have to give way. If you change the lane, you have to give way still. So it's a mistake. No, it's not a mistake, but still kind of dangerous situation also. So try to make uh, to make this lane changing in advance, and uh, to make it safely, safety. Uh, road signs, the special regulation signs on the roundabouts. It's very important also to understand how it works on the roundabouts. So here we have a roundabout, for example. Yeah. The same logic. Uh, every exit on the roundabout is considered. It, ha it has to be considered considered like a uh, like a crossroad. So that's why, um, if for example I want to make this exit, I see the sign. Uh, it's uh, if I pass this sign, it means it's mandatory to go only in this direction. Like we just talked about it in before that. If it's located before the crossroad, then it's mandatory to go only in this way that is located on the sign, uh, that is not uh, mentioned on the sign. Uh, so, also, all the exits on the roundabout, they are crossroads, basically. Uh, that's why if I see, for example, that left lane goes only left on the roundabout, so I can continue. Right, la right lane on the roundabout can also, you see, right arrow can exit and also can continue on the roundabout. So I can make all the circle around. So um, uh, that's why if I'm on the left lane, but I still want to make this exit, um, but I already passed this sign, for example, I'm located here. It means it's mandatory to go only on uh, left. I have to move on the circle one more round. It's mandatory. I cannot change lane here somewhere after the sign. I have to do it before the sign. So that's why if I see in advance that only right lane exit to the right, it means I can change the lane here before the sign. That's the most important. About the roundabouts and this special regulation signs, you also can check, um, you can check our YouTube video uh, on our channel about the roundabouts only. So it will be more clear about uh, for you how to check it, how to make uh, right um, changing the lanes, how to use the lane, uh, how to enter properly. So please check it as well if you are still not confident in that. So one again, once again, in conclusion, I can say that most uh, most important to make all the maneuvers before the sign. This or this. 
So if I want to exit, I need to change a lane, for example. If I'm already on the right lane, so I don't have to change nothing, anything, I just exit. Kind of simple, actually. And um, here we have pedestrian crossing sign. This one, you know. So next one is pedestrian underpass, pedestrian overpass. So if you see a person moving down like this, it means it's a, it's a tunnel down. Um, if it's a pedestrian, is a, this kind of person walking up, it means it's a bridge. So you have to cross something uh, using the bridge. If down, then something uh, underground, like uh, downstairs through the tunnel. Bus or trolley bus stop, tram stop, taxi standing place. So only these vehicles can use this kind of places. Place for U-turn. It's a very also interesting sign because <clears throat> it's mandatory to make only U-turn in this kind of case. If you see U-turn sign, it means you can make only U-turn. It means you cannot go left. So you can make only U-turn. Uh, place for U-turn we already observed. So no true road for vehicles. It means uh, dead, dead end for the uh, dead end for the cars, basically for the vehicles. Here it's dead end for the vehicles, but bicycles can continue move straight because they have a road there. So uh, it doesn't mean that you cannot enter this road. You still can turn right, for example, drive some time a little there to move. But in the end of this road, you will uh, see the obstacle that you cannot continue. For example, forest, stones or houses, something that road will be ended. But still, it's allowed to move in this direction because sometimes students think that it's like no entry sign, but uh, actually it's not. And um, here. Let's observe the next signs. Priority for oncoming traffic, priority for oncoming vehicles, give way to the oncoming vehicles, give priority to vehicles from opposite direction. So it means that oncoming vehicles have priority on all the road. For example, if it's a very narrow road all the way for a very long distance, very big distance or something, then um, it means it means that um, you still uh, we have to give way, for example, if there are somebody coming on the front. So we have to uh, wait somewhere before this obstacle. You have to try to get some maximum right, if it's possible, if you have some roadside or something. So you have to hide somewhere on the right side of the road that oncoming traffic can uh, freely move. So you cannot disturb the oncoming traffic. That's the point of this sign. Advisory speed, temporary maximum speed advised. So temporary maximum speed advised, it means that 70 is a recommended speed. You are not obliged to move with the 70. For example, if maximum limit is 70, uh, is 90, sorry, uh, maximum allowed speed limit is 90, but you see the 70, uh, you still can go with 90. But on the exam, I still recommend you to use uh, recommendations because then you can waste time a little bit and uh, uh, also means there are some maybe uh, dangerous curve or speed bump, for example. Uh, so it's better still to decelerate. Don't try to move with the higher speed. So it's not just simply recommended. There is a reason that traffic, uh, uh, this traffic regulation recommends you to move with this speed limit. And crossing the cycle track, cycle road ahead. So basically you are crossing the cycle road. And emergency stopping place in tunnel, for example, or even on highway. So it can be anywhere. So if you want to make an emergency stop, usually it's um, not, let's say, it happens accidentally. So if it's possible, try to use this SOS places. Usually some, even some places in Europe, they have uh, f uh, phones there, so you can call directly to the uh, to police or uh, ambulance. 
they have water there or something so uh, very very comfortable places for uh, waiting here uh, variable direction of traffic so like on the Gansiori state street you can maybe you know the street in the city center end of this lane and entrance the road with variable direction of traffic so you are about to enter to left or right this sign uh, these signs uh, basically are showing you that uh, variable direction lane is opened or not open basically that it's closed and please mention that um, now notice that this sign is not traffic light so green means this lane is open red means it's closed but still it doesn't mean that it's green light or red light if it's closed but you have green light it still means that you can move let's see on the example here going to your street you can see like here very good example um, a green arrow shows us that this lane is opened uh, and it's open in this direction only but main uh, traffic light is red means i have to stop and wait until it's green so now it's yellow and if it's a, if after that it's green then means i can move so the point of this uh, variable direction of traffic you have only one lane usually it's um, um, pointed this lane is pointed with the special uh, road markings this double um, double line you can see double dotted line breakable line also you can say so this lane what what exactly means variable direction of traffic it means that um, it means that depending on the daytime this lane can be opened uh, in two different ways for example from morning till lunch this lane is opened from last direction to city center so all cars go this way after lunch as you see it's open from city center to last and only in this direction all cars can move so guys from last already after lunch they have to find another ways to move they cannot use this lane anymore it will be closed so this is the point basically the aim of this variable direction of traffics uh, to unload the roads because uh, previously before this uh, variable lane was created previously it was a very busy road here uh, with a lot of traffic jams and so and this kind of stuff so that's why they decided to unload it using this variable direction place for a u-turn for example as I already explained I can make a u-turn only I cannot go left if I see this sign if for example I have casual special regulation sign which shows me left I also can make a left turn and I also can make a u-turn but if I see this blue u-turn sign it means I can make only u-turn so here you have can see different automatic automatic control speed limit control basically or video valve means video control so it's not controlling the speed limit it's just controlling the traffic for example build up area starts build up area ends so if I enter I have 50 if I exit I have for example 90 for this reason I have to know what speed limits have to be in different areas Calm traffic area end of the calm traffic area so if I enter for example I have to move with uh, 20 and to be extra care because this area is only for the pedestrians mostly so car can use it but they uh, always give priority to the pedestrians about this areas we we'll also talk uh, in the next lessons more closely so here are different uh, signs with parking for buses for example plus plus buses parking for um, swimming for example near the beach somewhere seashore uh, parking for disabled people and then this one uh, parking place for electric cars 
for clients of this uh, cafe or something manner of parking so you have to park like this from both sides of uh, of the line or only from this side only from here you have to make diagonal parking from both sides or only from the right or only from the left so paid parking um, for example sorry this one is uh, paid parking from uh, from uh, eight to six o'clock yeah so after that it's free uh, end of it paid parking and towing in Ford so if you park wrongly um, or you don't pay for the parking your car can be uh, towed to the um, basically police department here also for example you can see clocks here it means that 30 minutes are free in this parking area if you use parking clocks here uh, it's paid from six to um, from eight to six but 30 minutes uh, are free if you are using the clocks so tunnel ahead also tunnel have the its own rules there end of the tunnel industrial area refuse disposal site storage site for dangerous substances for dangerous uh, goods also ferry port cargo port yacht harbor airport bus station railway station and these kind of signs you have to know how they really looks like 